Hi, the main topic of this video are the advanced functions of the Vertex G1000, like autopilot, usage of approaches and managing descents. At the end of the video, we take a short look at dynamic reflections in prepared V4.4. I highly recommend good headphones to enjoy the excellent and sometimes complex sounds in the cockpit. This video shows a very late beta version. Regarding the G1000, you will get in the release what you see here. The already excellent sound of the diesel engines will be even somewhat improved in the release version. In this video, clicking a button takes one second. To explain what that means takes one minute. So sometimes what I talk will not match with what you see. Sometimes I use subtitles as a third information layer. You can go back in the video with your mouse if it was too much. In this flight I have entered several user altitude constraints to be used for VNAV, therefore shown in big blue letters. We are going on a trip in Colorado, west of Denver, to demonstrate some more details about vertical navigation. Switching oxygen on. Fairly long takeoff run here. We are at an altitude of about 8000 feet here. Runway length at Kilo Golf November Bravo is 5000 feet.
pilot fights against strong wind shear, flying with active sky real weather here. We enable VNAV guidance now. You even can do that during climb in most cases. This is no problem. Remember, using VNAV is a two-step process. This is the first step. The second step will be to arm the autopilot VNAV mode at the PFD later. change how distances are displayed in the flight plan from waypoint to waypoint or as a sum. Okay, we achieve cruise altitude. The second step now, arming VNAV AFCS or autopilot mode and we have to set up a target altitude, always shows the next VNAV waypoint in red here, 14,000 feet, but I set it here at the end of the descent. See, the vertical deviation indicator is alive. Descent starts soon. Kilo in Jamaica Bravo Lima, the flight path angel changes to meet given altitude constraints. it load percent not to build up more speed a 
unfortunately there is something wrong regarding the data wrong airport position or procedure data did not try to figure it out yet using default prepared navigation data here it ends up at the threshold but 2000 feet above ground level a pity this approach would have been really interesting so i only picked out some interesting scenes from this flight and will perform a conventional VFR flight in VNAV mode. I showed you the LPV approach at Kilo Sierra Lima Echo instead. Houston, we have a problem. Flight path angel needed is 6 degrees. I reduce power not to build up more speed. You can use the gear as speed brake. You may extend over the entire green range of the speed tape plus a few extra knots. Okay, but I do not want to perform a final with 6 degrees. For most aircraft the only solution would be a go around, but the Vertex DA62 has real side slipping. I can descend with 2000 feet per minute, that equals a flight path angel of 12 degrees in this case, here without building up a higher speed than 90 knots. Now I can perform a standard approach with a 3 degrees flight path angel. Oxygen is expensive.
flying in autopilot heading mode or Diamond calls it AFCS heading mode. The plan is to change to GPS nav mode here to follow the flight plan. See that GPS mode is wide, armed only, but does not get engaged. As in many cases, you did not find a bug. The lazy beta testers did not find. Just as the real thing, this does not work here, for safety reasons. The solution is simple. We point the aircraft to a new heading so it can intercept. We soon will run into the next problem. GPS is in suspend mode. That happens in several cases when arriving at the destination. The go around part of the flight plan is in suspend mode. This is one example. Or sometimes when loading a new flight plan without deleting the old one before. In suspend mode, after passing the waypoint, the aircraft does not turn into the next leg. It does not get activated. It maintains heading until it has arrived at the moon or at a more worse place. You can press the suspend button here. I tested this here. It worked. The correct leg gets activated then and the aircraft turns to intercept the actual leg. But I will show you a different solution might be more safe because you can be sure the correct leg gets activated. Ok, I activate the correct leg now and at the same time suspend mode gets deactivated. In this case aircraft turns to intercept and you can lean back now.
want to show you more about how dynamic reflections look like in prepad v4.4 now. The following explanations only reflect what I have observed in my current sim configuration. I am not a content creator for this sim, so my knowledge is limited. The DA62 shows dynamic reflections even in prepad v4.3. Lockheed Martin changed the engine in 4.4 and says that in the change log. I observed that reflections now exhibit a smaller zoom factor, more real. In 4.3 it looked more like looking into a telescope. Both the so-called PBR equipped aircraft, as far as I have access to, and the DA62 exhibit the same limitations regarding the reflections. Therefore seem to use the same engine for reflections. Here at Lima Oscar Whiskey India, fixed people get reflected, moving people get not, moving cars get reflected. I observed that at other locations some buildings did not get reflected. Unfortunately, lights like street lights or runway lights get not reflected. Sun gets reflected, moon I did not test yet. PBR, physical based rendering, offers much more options than reflections, but even major game studios seem to reduce PBR mostly to this effect at the moment. Hope you found it useful, hope you enjoyed it, bye for now.